Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Oh my god, I am like sweating balls right now. No joke. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm finding myself with some correspondence because it's blazing hot up in hell. Okay, so today's tutorial is going to be a dramatic 4th of July makeup look. This is something that I would probably wear a lot. Um, this is more of like a nighttime look, like if you're going out um, to a bar. Do you see me sweating? Oh my god, disgusting. Okay, um, yeah, like if you're going out to a bar, if you're going to um, a party or something, you know, then you might want to wear this look. I just got super super obsessed with this blue color here. It's one of the L'Oreal Unflowable um, color thingies and the little circle things. Anyways, um, yeah, so this is pretty much um, the look. And I'm not doing a full face. I'm just going to show you guys on um, the actual eyes. And actually at the end of the video, it kind of cuts out. Um, my battery died. So it died like right after I finished my eyeball and then right after that it died. So pretty much after that I just applied my eyeliner and um, eyelashes and then the lipstick. Um, the lip liner I'm wearing is um, this Essence lip liner and then I'm wearing Max uh, Ruby Woo over it. Um, anyways, I'm going to have all the details down below and then also on Instagram as well. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for stopping by and I really hope you guys like this and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Okay, so sorry about the lighting guys. It's horrible. I know, I know, I know. Okay, so I already have one eyeball done here. And um, I'm going to start off with this like transition color. This is an Ulta eyeshadow that I had in this palette. And I'm just going to take a flush, fluffy brush and I'm just blending it in my crease. And of course, like always, going into this little essence palette, taking the lighter brown, also blending that into the crease like so. And then um, taking this e.l.f. brush, this is a more um, dense brush, this is a, a more precise brush for the crease. So I'm taking that darker color and really getting that in my crease. And of course a train has to be freaking passing by my neighborhood right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm going back with that uh, fluffy brush again in the lighter brown color and just really blending that out. And this is the Scandal Eyes um, pencil. Oh great, I am not even prepared. Anyways, it's like the only blue one. I will leave all the descriptions or the um, everything down below. Anyways, it freaking broke on me. So I went in back with the freaking tip, broken tip and just try to reapply it as best as I could and I just ended up um, remedying it with my pinky but now I'm going back in with this um, brush and really blending out the edges because I don't want it to be harsh um, I really want it to blend into that brown into the crease and then going back in with the dark brown and really focusing on the crease and then going back in um, with that fluffy brush and the light brown and then once again with the broken tip on the lid because I feel like I rubbed some of it off just patting that in with my pinky I feel like it worked best that way this product is very, very creamy. And for my favorite part, of course, the L'Oreal Infallible. Um, this is in blue something. I don't know. Gosh, I'm horrible. I should have been more prepared and had the things right in front of me. But of course, no. Now I'm just spraying this with the L'Oreal Infallible again. Um, the setting spray just to get, um, you know, a better texture I guess and just applying that all over my lid where 
I applied that Rimmel um, blue color as the base. Ugh, I freaking love this color, you guys. I'm so obsessed. I'm obsessed with like most of the L'Oreal Infallible um, little press pigment things. They're awesome. And then we do a little eyebrow dance because we're cool like that. <laughs> okay, and then I just went back in because we really want to focus on that blue color. And just blending, blending, and blending away. You pretty much have to... This video was really long and I cut it down a lot because most of it was blending. Like I cannot tell you how important it is to freaking blend your shadow girl. Just blending, blending away. Yes, we blend for eternities. And then again, with that blue. And I'm so sorry that this um, cuts off at the end, almost here soon, but um, towards the end I pretty much just did my gel liner. Um, I did it with the angled. Anyways, right here I am dusting off any um, fallout. And then I'm going in with this precise little brush just on the outer corner to give it a little more depth. Just get, you know, a little darker there. Smoke it out a little bit more. Yeah, anyways, like I was saying, I pretty much just applied my gel liner and it's the L'Oreal Inflowable. Wow, I'm obsessed with like L'Oreal Inflowable stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, so L'Oreal Inflowable and then uh, my lashes, I used some e.l.f. lashes and then Andrea glue. And then I pretty much just smoked out my bottom lashes or my bottom eye and applied mascara. And I applied the L'Oreal Carbon Black Mascara. No, this is not a um, sponsored video, by the way. I know I'm pretty much using mostly L'Oreal. <laughs> but yeah, I wish it was sponsored. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going back and blending that in because I feel like I went a little overboard on the highlight. And then I'm just highlighting the inner eyeball duct thing. And then this is where it cuts off, guys. I'm so sorry. But I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to Are like, comment, listening? and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram. Love you.